return trip because uh, obviously all of us were embarrassed on how we performed on Saturday. Um, had a good opportunity to look at the film and meeting with guys, uh, going over uh, uh, what went wrong. So uh, usually you have a, um, a game like that uh, once or twice a year. Um, we just haven't had one like that uh, to that extent in uh, three years or so. So uh, obviously not fun and hopefully something that we can make sure we're not in position uh, like that again the rest of this year. You mentioned the transition defense. Is that one of the big things you're working on? Uh, rebounding and transition defense were the biggest uh, uh, culprits that game. And uh, um, so we'll, we'll address both those issues. And uh, we, we, we got offensive rebounds. We just didn't convert enough, and we didn't get them early enough. You said film don't lie. So um, was there other takeaways, or what did, what did the players see maybe when they watched it? Well, I, I, I mean, some of it's uh, uh, effort and rotations and getting back. Others. Um, I mean, as a coach, you always look first, what could we do better? And uh, obviously, we'll spend a little more time in, in practice on transition defense. How much do you kind of dwell on a loss like this? I know some coaches would say we're not even going to watch the film of it, mm -hmm. but how much do you talk about this matchup as a whole? Well, um, I know, I know uh, uh, we, we're going to spend some time on it, but not enough that it costs us the game on Wednesday because uh, we can't replay that game. So uh, uh, we will uh, do our best to make improvements, make adjustments, and then at the same time uh, get prepared. And, and that's why transition defense is something every game that's important. So us getting better in that area obviously gets us ready for anybody we play in the Big 12. Scott, what's this been like for you as a coach? A lot of times you don't know who's going to play into like 10 minutes before the game. Well, what's it like just having to deal with this all the time? Well, you got it. You, you, as you say, you got to be flexible, right? So uh, uh, anyway, we're working, we're working, working on that. Yeah, but um, you, you kind of went through the same thing three years ago when Makai was there, Tristan. Yeah. I mean, at least you have some experience in this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and you know what? Uh, Adam's getting better. James is getting better. Jeremy's getting better. So really now it's just waiting on uh, LJ and Hopefully we can get him back. And as you know, we haven't lost when we've had everybody. So, uh, but having everybody and practicing and being in a rhythm are, are, are go hand in hand as well. What do you see in K-State? Uh, obviously you've seen them already once this year, but what do you see from them? Well, K-State in the first game probably felt like we did at Kansas. I mean, they, they'd been playing really well and they didn't play that well that game. I know Coach Weber was upset because um, you look at their scores and uh, virtually all their games are one possession games. So they've done a great job in uh, uh, improving their team. They had a lot of injuries and COVID issues early on in the year. They've been healthy and thus that's why they've uh, uh, been on an upward projectile and uh, done a great job uh, 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 winning a couple in a row. And we know that uh, that's a tough place to play. And at the same time, uh, uh, I know uh, uh, you're always excited uh, uh, to go against uh, uh, great players. And uh, Pac, uh, we've seen enough highlights of him all year long, know how good he is. Are they as explosive on tape offensively as they looked in the box score from Saturday? Yeah, they, they, they've uh, – uh, Coach Weber has, has done a good job bringing in uh, some transfers that can score, and then the returning players have gotten better. Um, so it's, it's a team that uh, uh, we know they're going to they're gonna be, exen again, as excited to play us as – will probably be to play Kansas next time. Is there anything in particular from the last matchup that you can look at and say, like, this is something we want to exploit again? Uh, definitely you, every game you take things that uh, worked. and uh, um, uh, But at the same time, they're probably looking at those, OK, what adjustments can we make so they can't uh, do this this time? And uh, uh, last time, I mean, we made shots. We made some great passes, made some great reads. Uh, it's always tougher on the road. And uh, uh, we know uh, they're playing good basketball. and. We know we'll get their A game, and uh, we we got to make sure that we control what we can control, and uh, our effort, energy, execution, rotations got to be a lot better than they were this past Saturday for sure. Obviously, you guys weren't armed up the full strength right now, but is there a silver lining in all of this? So you know your guys that have been getting those extra minutes can really challenge themselves. Yeah, the the great the great thing is uh, um, when you do have people. Uh, uh, that normally don't get as many minutes or playing in a different role, it gives them experience. And hopefully uh, uh, with that experience, um, uh, they have success. So uh, you become that much more of a deeper team uh, when you do get people back healthy. How have you seen uh, John JTT uh, improve this year? 
Uh, he's definitely improved his footwork. He's improved his shot, um, uh, his, his defense, uh, guarding one through five has gotten better, and his rebounding has been very good. What kind of energy does he bring? Uh, he, he, he's got a motor that runs every day. So uh, uh, every day, John, for a reason. Hey, if you guys got two more, I know you Obviously, they didn't do a very good job of handling that. Yeah. Uh, what did you see from K-State the first time? Obviously, y'all beat them really bad, but what do you expect from that? Yeah, um, I think everybody knows Nigel Pack's one of the best players in the league, and uh, so it kind of starts with shutting him down. Was that a hard film to watch from Saturday? We or? haven't watched the film yet. Watched. We'll watch it today. <laughs> do you want to watch that? Uh, no, it's not particularly. Part of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we got to, so yeah. it'll be all right. Coming off, coming off the court, just kind of what were the emotions in the locker room on Saturday? Do you want me to look into the camera? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, the emotions. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, I think we're all just pretty disappointed. I mean, we got beat down at Kansas. Like, that's a game we really want to win, and that would have put us in, uh, tied for first place. So we're disappointed, but we're, we're just ready to learn from it. Having your other teammates get you know more minutes and opportunities, what's that like to see? You know, just them have the chance to grow and continue uh, generally better than the best player. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fun to see different people get minutes. I mean, Dale has really done a lot with his opportunities, so I mean, I'm definitely proud of our guys. But will that help you guys in the long run, maybe? What? Like, yeah, developing more depth. Yeah, I mean, I think the fact that I mean Dale in particular is getting a lot of opportunities, I think that's going to help us a lot. Uh, down the stretch because he's a really important player for us. I know you said you don't really want to watch the films. What do you think you guys can learn from um, kind of like taking a loss like that and moving forward? Yeah, uh, I think we're going to have to learn a lot on offense, just how to keep the ball moving more. Um, and like I said, I think the main thing is transitioning and rebounding, so we'll figure that out. How have you seen uh, John, JTT, improve since you've been here? I mean, he works every day. Uh, he's always in the best shape, and he can, like, shoot those jump shots now. I think he's shooting, like, 40% from three. So, I mean, he's improved in every aspect of his game. It's, it's really fun to see. And what does his energy do for you guys? <clears throat> I mean, he just keeps a lot of balls alive. He's always getting rebounds. Uh, and he's, like, a big encourager in the huddles. So, I mean, he really does everything. What do you remember about that last matchup with K-State that's going to be key for you guys on Wednesday? Um, well, I think the biggest thing is just shutting down Nigel Peck, and, uh, you know, we've scouted him. He's had some big games, but I think that's where it starts. Very good. Thank you, Thanks, man. All right, thank you. Well, Jeremy, what do you guys, what do you have to do better than the KU game? Yeah, I think we just have to, you know, talk things through and just become more of a team uh, and just pick our energy up. I think that's one main thing that, uh, we didn't have, you know, they had a lot of transition points um, and just offensive boards. I think it's just energy in the, in the end, so we just have to pick that up and, you know, play like we do. Is that a hard one to take? Just, I mean, because you haven't obviously dealt with anything like that in your time here. Was that just a tough one to take? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely tough, um, but you can't really dwell on the past, and I think we just have to look into the future and the present and just do our thing. Uh, we all know that we could have uh, had a different outcome to that game, but we can't change it, so, yeah. Matt said you all haven't watched the film yet. Are you looking forward to that? What kind of, you know? No, I'm definitely looking forward to watching that. I think we all are to see our mistakes and just learn from all of it. Um, you know, of course, it's, it, was, it was a negative to lose, but uh, we can learn so much from it, so I think we're all excited to watch that. Was there a shock factor to that loss? Like. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shock, you know, losing by that much. Um, but like I said, we can't really dwell on that. We can't really be shocked because we have a game on Wednesday and we have to focus on that. So uh, we're just going to look at what we can learn and do better next time. What do you remember from that last game against Kansas State that maybe you can take and use uh, for this one? Yeah, for sure. I think we just all like had a lot of energy and uh, we focused on the defensive side, uh, which helped us. Um, from what I remember, they didn't really score in the transition. Uh, they didn't really score in the transition. So if we keep on doing that, I think uh, we'll, we'll get the same outcome as last time.
kind of an inspiration is uh, Jonathan to you guys, just the energy he brings? Yeah, no, he's, he's really big, especially uh, in the preseason, just watching him work out like four times a day. Um, just really like, you know, inspired me to, to be the same and, you know, playing against him in practice and everything just, just builds me up and builds up the other guys. So he, he's great for us. Is there something that you guys have learned about your team through these losses that will help you all get better, you know, in the long run? I think we learned just that we all need each other, um, like mentally but physically as well. You know, uh, we have a great team and uh, I think we just feed from each other and our energy has to come from all of us. So um, I think I think we're going to do a lot better now. How are you feeling just coming back from injury? Yeah, I feel good. Um, there's at spurts where I'm like a little bit tired, a little bit gassed, but I feel good. I'm, I'm really excited to play on Wednesday. And yeah, I just feel in general good. Playing on the road, how much different has that been for you than playing at home? And do you think that that's part of why you all didn't have the energy? Um, of course, there's a factor where they have a lot of fans there and the, 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 the crowd is hostile a little bit, but um, no matter where I am, where I think the same goes for my teammates. We just try try play our game and um, we just didn't bring it. It wasn't it wasn't because of them or anything like that. I think it was just something between us that we didn't bring and yeah. What's it like for you guys? You have had a lot of injuries, uh, just different rotations all the time. Is that a little hard to adjust to? Or? Yeah, it's, it's definitely tough. Um, you know, it's kind of it's a shame because we can't really bring consistency into our game. And we, we have a different lineup every game, but there's no excuse. We can't really blame that. You know, that's what life is. We never know what's going to happen, so we just got to keep on playing. Okay. Is that good? Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.